previously. You're a real gamer. And now back to the video. What's going on guys, Kaisers here, and welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Royal. Now in today's episode is going to be a big one, because today we are going to head into Mementos and we are going to clear all of the requests that we have, and as well as get a bunch of money, experience, and a bunch of other necessities. Because in the last episode, we saw Kaneshiro confess his crimes and has been arrested by the police, and also we got our boy Ryuji to max rank and he awakened to his other persona, Satan Taisei. So that was pretty fun. So today and we're just gonna be killing a bunch of shadows and mementos, getting money, and seeing what the new features are with Jose and mementos as well. So I hope you're ready for today's video and I hope you enjoy. Anyway, before we get into it, let's see who's calling us. And Rory no Biko. Well, we would work today, but we are going to actually call Kawakami. Oh! Listen. Hello there. Hey, you know how you listened to my story the other day? You listened to my secret. Well, I've been feeling more at ease since then. I've never been able to tell anyone about it, so... I figured I should actually do some housekeeping today, to say thanks. <sighs> Sorry, I need to take a break. Yeah, are you okay? You wanna just rest? You don't have to immediately start working. I'm so touched to hear you that you care for my well-being, Master. Ugh, I'm at my limit, so exhausted. Uh. <coughs> <sighs> I'm beat. I can't stop coughing. Oh jeez, she's got now. Oh boy. Yeah, are you alright? You need to go in a quarantine or lockdown, whatever the hell they have for patients. <coughs> uh, just kidding, I just wanted to slack off a bit. I mean, there's nothing left for me to hide from you, so the truth comes out, you know? Now that I think about it, I'm glad you're the one who found out about me being a maid. I guess. Could be anyone else, but, you know, we just had to be the lucky ones, huh? Are you going to be alright in this dusty room? Yeah, we're gonna be fine. You've been here for a couple days now, so, I mean, we should be alright. And you have been eating well. You need to eat fresh vegetables and none of that instant stuff. Vitamins are super important. You're going to turn out like me if you don't take care of yourself. <sighs> I guess I should get more sleep. I feel all achy. Oh, jeez, he is not doing good. Takase Kun's guardian said they need more money, so I had my boss give me more shifts. I had to bake him for them, though. Jeez, just don't overdo it, all right? You already look bad. Oh, it's fine. Nothing you should worry Besides, about. Besides, I'm. I feel more uh... at ease now that I have someone who knows about what I'm going through. I'm talking about you. All right, if you say so. Get sick or whatever allows you. To also request Kawakami to make curry or infiltration tools for you. All right. Okay. Thank you, Kawakami. Uh oh, time's up. <coughs> I have to get my next job, so I'm going to head out. All right. I'll see you later then. Alrighty, Kawakami. Just take care of yourself. Get better. Ooh. What's happening? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was wondering what was happening. <laughs> Boy, we're just seeing Sai again, huh? Don't be ridiculous. Oh, what did we do? This new ally you gained was Makoto. What? We just never tell said me that. The truth. I'm not saying anything. Suddenly gone quiet, huh? Maybe. That's preposterous. If what you say is true, was Makoto also running from the police when you were arrested? Mm -hmm. Not saying anything. Now that I think about it, she did start talking a lot about the investigation from summer onward. <sighs> <sighs> Makoto aside, you mentioned one other important detail. Oh, did yeah. Kanashiro really say there was someone using the metaverse besides the Phantom Thieves? Yep. Those words could just be taken as you shifting blame to this other person, you know. Yeah, but we're telling the truth. 
That we can say. <laughs> but why would you fabricate such an elaborate story and then shift the blame elsewhere? There are two possibilities. Either you've simply been trying to confuse me with your lies, or everything you've stated is true. No shit, Sherlock! I mean, yeah, those would be the only two options. Why, why would you say that? Yes, it's either we're telling the truth or we're lying. There was no need for that kind of statement. Have you been telling me the truth from the very start? No, we've been lying. I have no reason to lie. Does that mean you're placing your trust in me? Yeah. <sighs> then again, I am investigating a thief who steals hearts. <laughs> Very well. No matter how absurd it may seem, I'll reevaluate my stance on believing you, for now. In <laughs> return, speak the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Alrighty. It's a fair deal. Is that acceptable? Yep. I made a deal with Sai Nijima. Thou don't care! Alright, we got the judge All right. on now. So that's good. We're running out of time. Let's move on to your next target. Okay. Actually, I should rephrase that. They targeted your group first, didn't they? Oh? The identity of your opponent is this. Medjet. We read a book about that in the last episode. We have no pictures. Even their names and identities are unknown. If what you told me is true, then this nav thing you've mentioned wouldn't have worked in this case. Hmm. How did you target them? Tell me everything. Hmm. So our next big group is Medjed, eh? The summary of the story up to this point has been updated. Alrighty. Well, now that that's taken care of, we can finally do some small stuff today. And then we can head to Mementos. Hey, you're there, right? Come downstairs. Oh, what's up, Sojiro? You need something. Hey, check the ingredients in the fridge. Alrighty. Oh, is it your date? Hey, what's up? <laughs> huh? It's not right? Not cute. What? That was the one the staff recommended to me, though. Won't that printer do? Printer? Huh, it'll do, but it's not it. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, I'll be right over. Alrighty. I guess we're gonna be watching the show. <sighs> this might take a while. I'm leaving this door to you. Oh. Lock okay. up for me if I don't come back. Alrighty. Got it. I owe you one. And eh, don't worry about it. <laughs> what a handful. That's eh, alright. And that concludes the latest news on the suspect Kaneshiro. Ah, uh, looks like a new special. This huh? case is said to be a result of the Phantom Thieves' actions, but what do you think? We don't know their methods, but I believe they are a menace that will threaten this law-abiding country. How? We're punishing criminals. This dangerous group tampers with people's hearts. It's no different from brainwashing. That is true, but we're targeting criminals. Bad guys. I see. You're absolutely correct. I wonder what's going on. Didn't this happen a little while ago, too? Who was it again? You know, that famous artist. That would be Marame. Ah, uh, Marame, was it? Yep, good old Marame. They punished those awful people, didn't they? The Phantom Thieves aren't at fault then. Exactly. Well, that may be true, but... But what? What do you have to say, old man? Don't you think so too, dearie? The Phantom Thieves aren't doing anything wrong, are they? Nah. Of course they're not. See, even he says that they're doing good. <laughs> oh my, look at the time. We should probably head home. Alrighty. Ah, you're right. <laughs> Thanks for the drink. No problem. Y'all have a safe night. Oh, this yes. dude again. I've received the reports on Kaneshiro's case. Oh boy. But to think the Phantom Thieves would honestly attempt an absurd idea like social reform. Oh boy. Uh, you're absolutely right. I'm not pleased about the general public support of them either. 
Oh, no. There's also the danger of the metaverse being exposed with their continued actions. Oh, shit. He knows about it. Oh, no. Actually, there is one countermeasure he brought in that seems usable. Oh, no. It involves having the Phantom Thieves destroy themselves without our direct intervention. How would we destroy ourselves, though? We'll set things up so that those mental shutdown occurrences are their doing. Oh, no. Ah, I thought as much. I had a feeling that it was too brutal for it to be his own idea. Still, I think you'd go through such elaborate detail to crush them. Oh, Their no. actions must be that much of an eyesore for you. I sympathize with what you're going through. Well then, I'll clean this up quickly and put it behind us. Yes. Oh. A grand undertaking like social reform is beyond a group such as the Phantom Thieves. Looks like we're gonna get set up Only a select few are worthy of changing the world. And who better than the future Prime Minister, sir? Out that guy knows about the metaverse, so we gotta be careful. Mm. It's Ryuji. Hey, it's me. Where you at? What you doing? Um, I'm just sitting here in the blonde, watching the store. Gotcha. Mm. We're gonna come over right now about the uh, you know what. See ya. Alrighty. What's up? We're here to hang out. Oh, hello, everybody. That's not why we're here. We need to study for finals. No, oh, it's a study session, huh? Why am I here, too? Why? You're not interested in studying, Makoto? Hm? You're one of us now, so of course you gotta help us. We're in trouble if you don't teach us, you know? <laughs> He's right. Even you're saying such things? I'm just saying that to support Ryuji. I can ace the exams no problem. It's this guy who's gonna be suffering. Let's leave those guys be. Huh. <sighs> I couldn't ask the last time I was here. But mm. what is this place? The storekeeper doesn't seem to be around. Eh, he's out helping his date, I believe. That's where this guy lives. <laughs> yep. He's got complicated circumstances. Yeah. We can tell her about it, right? Actually, tell yourself. Yep. Some awful that's, explanation later. That's terrible. Yep. On Yusuke and me are pretty much the same too. I mean, <laughs> it's not as bad as this guy's though. Yeah. It's just something we can't ever put up with. That's why we all became Phantom Thieves. Yep. Hey, don't forget me. <laughs> I know, I know. We're all part of the team. <laughs> By the way, Makoto, ain't there someone you can't forgive either? Like, a heart you want to change? Yeah, do you have any particular person? That's the secret. Aw. Ah, there's someone like that. You could just tell us, you know. You don't gotta be so cold. <laughs> that aside, do you have any intention of studying for the exams? Yeah, he's probably gonna play... No, he's probably gonna just play video games and then just eat ice cream like he did that one episode <laughs> with <Not> really. Yusuke. <laughs> yep. It's fine if I leave then? Aw. No, no, I'm just joking. Please teach us. <laughs> hmm. What was this term? It's phobia, so it's a fear of some kind. I think it's a fear of open spaces. You don't hear it that often, though. Hmm. Leave vocabulary and long sentences to me. I suck at proper grammar, though. Hmm. Uh, even if we study English, it's not like I'm gonna use it in the future. <laughs> the translation just makes this interaction so awkward. When it comes to you, your Japanese is questionable, too. Ha! <laughs> uh, shut up! <laughs> Explain the writer's feelings? What point is there in that? Thank you, I never understood that part when it came to English class, like why? Oh, it's impossible. I can't memorize all these formulas. 
ain't there a good way of cheating? Yes, let's talk about cheating in front of your council president. <sighs> Why don't we take a break? <laughs> and that was the follow-up report on the suspect Kaneshiro. Now, Akechi-san. <gasps> Akechi! This case is said to be the result of the Phantom Thieves' actions, but in actuality, is this true? Oh boy. Considering how a calling card was scattered about, I believe there's no mistaking that. Oh. The question is what the Phantom Thieves actually did. Hmm. If they tampered with the suspect's heart, it casts doubt on the authenticity of any confession. Hmm. So then by tampering with hearts, the Phantom Thieves are fabricating crimes that may not exist? We're not fabricating anything. They tell the truth. We can't deny the possibility. There's no doubt that the Phantom Thieves are exposing hidden injustices in society. However, if this is done by sidestepping the law, their way of thinking is very dangerous. So, in a way, they're outlaws. Hmm. Yes. They're no different than the criminals they target. This cannot be overlooked. I see. Oh, I see. My ass. <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell are we being treated as bad guys? <laughs> oh, the way Ryuji said it. Oh, I see! My ass! <laughs> Just let them say whatever they want. Hmm. More people are starting to understand that what we're doing is right, after all. Yep. When I'm walking around in town, I hear a lot more people talking about us, too. Nice. And the forum's been full of hype. Do you think we made it big time? <laughs> Don't get pompous over dealing with some street thug. Save it for after we deal with a bigger target. Yeah. We just gotta take down a bigger one, yeah? Yep. That was the plan from the start anyways. Yep. True. It may be best if we start thinking about it. Yeah. I bet we'll find one in no time. Wind's blowing in our direction and everything. Yep. I feel like we won't lose to anything right now. What a way to jinx us, though. Well, we'll decide on that eventually. We need to overcome our exams first. Yep. Now then, break time's over. Let's get back to... That reminds me! The celebration party! Weren't we gonna do it after exams? Yep. <laughs> yes, I believe so. <laughs> Where should we go? I feel like I'll study better if I got something to look forward to. Mm, the last one was a buffet at a hotel. We haven't gone anywhere since. Yeah, that's true. Hmm? A buffet? <laughs> Where would be good? Yusuke's so interested in food because he can't afford it. Uh. Hey, what about fireworks? A fireworks festival! Ooh. Oh yeah, it's that season, huh? Nice. <laughs> that sounds good to me. <laughs> it's hard to ignore a buffet, but I'll take the beauties <laughs> of summer. Yusuke interested about the food. Still, I demand that we feast during the festival as well. Oh yeah. Do you guys own a yukata? Will you wear a yukata? <laughs> Doesn't a fireworks festival sound good? Uh, you think so too, right? Oh, hell yeah, dude. It's a great idea. All right, fireworks festival it is. Let's look for a good one. Oh, yeah. Study comes first, though. I won't let you off if you fail any of them. Are we clear? <laughs> Just for Yuji's face, he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, my God. It's Futaba! Study comes first, though. I won't let you off if you fail any of them. Are we clear? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Futaba, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all are gonna love her. Mm. She's like a little sister, dude. She's amazing. I love how we're, like, so focused on mementos in the beginning of the episode. Now. But now I just forgot about the team study session. <laughs> So now we should be getting into mementos after today. There we go, pointed to kindness, and tomorrow we head into mementos. Oh. Hey! Akira kun. Heading home? It's rare running into you at this hour. That reminds me. Oh, that reminds me. me. Do you remember the counseling Dr. Maruki's offering? It seems to be growing quite popular. I saw someone heading into the nurse's office just as I was leaving for school. Teachers say he's well worth his time here, but I have a feeling there's more to his popularity than just talent. Hmm. Maybe I should find out myself at some point. Uh, what 
about your studying? I know you're focused on that. <laughs> Naturally, that'll still happen when I get home. It's part of my daily routine. Excuse me. I appreciate your concern, but how about yourself? Depending on the exam scores, there may not be a fireworks festival for anyone to attend. Are you aware? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> but make sure you study well, alright? Oh yeah, we're studying well. Alright then. I need to buy some more test prep booklets on my way home. See you later. So that's kind of cool. She's going to be talking about, uh, what do you call it? Senpai. Um, talking about her exams or whatever. But anyway, Kasumi, what's up? What a pleasant surprise. Are you headed home too? Uh, yeah, we were hoping to do mementos. Same here. I don't have club practice today. <laughs> that reminds me. There's something I wanted to report to you. Would now be a good time? Uh, sure. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Why don't we find a seat somewhere? <laughs> huh? Oh, the gang's all here! <laughs> and you are... <laughs> it's been quite a while, Akechi-san. What? They know each other?! Huh? Same for you. Yoshizawa-san, right? What?! How many people does she know?! Yeah, you two know each other? My father works at a TV station. Have you ever seen Good Morning Japan? My father's the director. Oh, that's sick! I've been brought onto the show as a guest a number of times now. That's so cool! That's how I ended up becoming acquainted with Yoshizawa-san. That's cool. I didn't know you knew her as well. Yeah. <laughs> She's my friend. He helped me out of a jam before, and now he's been offering me guidance. Yep. Helped you out of a jam, huh? I see. <laughs> so, what were you two up to? Uh, just something. Talk oh, about stuff. right! I was just about to share some exciting news. <laughs> it's nothing to keep secret, so I may as well spill it now. Oh. About that summer competition I mentioned to you before? Tell me you got the part. I was chosen to be our club representative! Yeah! a girl Kasumi! Congratulations! This only feels like the beginning to me, though. <laughs> Isn't your club's team considered to be quite prestigious? Oh, yeah. And you're their representative. I must say, that's extremely impressive. Oh, yeah. Thank you! I'll do my best to make everyone proud. Oh, yeah. I'll be cheering you on as well. That's awesome. Ha! Ah, I have an idea. Since all three of us are here, why don't we go somewhere as a group? Uh, sure. This took a interesting turn. I guess we're not going into mementos this episode. <laughs> we can call it our little celebration for Yoshizawa-san's success. Oh, yeah. That would be wonderful. Does that work for you, Senpai? Um, of course. That settles it. Oh, yeah. I'd rather hang out with the best boy and the best girl. Would you mind if I chose the place? There's a wonderful little cafe I know about. Is it Leblon? Of course. Lead the way. Are we heading to Leblon? Huh. Yoshizawa-san? You drink hot beverages even in the summer? I have to prevent my body from getting too cold, since the meat's coming up rather soon. Makes sense, I guess. I see. You make sure you're covering all your bases. Hmm. Yeah, so what do you have? Good point. <laughs> well, some people say coffee can cool you off, even when hot, so I try to avoid that, too. <laughs> I had this image that you enjoy sweet things, Akechi-san. Is that untrue? <laughs> I swear I saw you eating fried sweetbread on TV just the other day. That actually does sound really good. It's all part of a marketing strategy. That sort of stunt is an easy crowd-pleaser. <laughs> you seem to have your own bases covered as well. Hmm. Wish I hadn't learned that. <laughs> I feel lied to. <laughs> Presenting oneself in a favorable light is nothing surprising. <laughs> More surprising is just how innocent you seem to be. Hmm. I've been wondering, how do you two know each other? Hmm. His social studies class visited the set of a TV show I appeared on. Yep. Ah, uh, that's right. Second year's got to go to a TV station. Yep. He and I exchanged our opinions during the shoot, and his way of thinking intrigued me. Hmm. I can definitely see that. 
Senpai's take on things often helps me as well. <laughs> that reminds me, Yoshizawa-san. You had mentioned that he's been providing you with some guidance. <laughs> yes. Like you just said, his way of thinking is intriguing. I figured I could benefit from his input. <laughs> In that case, let's play a little game. Oh? Would you mind if I pose the same question to you that I first asked him? Oh. No, go right ahead. Oh, is this about the Phantom Thieves? So, my question was, what oh. do you think of the Phantom Thieves, Yoshizawa-san? Oh, what are your thoughts? The Phantom Thieves? Oh, here we go. You mean in the case that they do in fact exist, yes? Oh. I admit that the assistance of others in need is a truly great act. Uh -huh. But, I simply can't agree with their methods. Wow. Even she's agreeing with a can't she? Interesting. I see. Care to explain why? Yeah. I suspect the Phantom Thieves' existence isn't going to be beneficial to society in the long run. Hmm. How so? Yeah, what do you think of that? Well, for example, when someone's faced with a problem to overcome, I believe they need to do it themselves. Hmm. Getting help from others is totally fine, but in the end, it takes a person's initiative to truly create lasting change. Ah, interesting. If society relied upon a safety net like the Phantom Thieves, I worry that people would stop making a conscious effort. Oh, so I think what she's saying is that if people just kept relying on the Phantom Thieves, they won't. people won't accept their own kind of change? They're just gonna have the Phantom Thieves do it? I guess. Granted, this depends on how severe the problem is, and it's inaccurate to apply generalizations to an entire population. Mm. But I believe a society where everyone simply leaves matters to the Phantom Thieves wouldn't last for very long. I can see it. I see. So, in the sense of a person's growth, their actions actually hinder it. <laughs> Quite an interesting take on the matter. Oh, I'd say. Let me ask you then, what do you think of Yoshizawa-san's opinion? Hmm... She's not wrong. Yeah, it's a unique stance. It's interesting. <laughs> Quite. I'd say it's equally as unique as your own opinions. Oh yeah. Wait, could you actually be a fan of the Phantom Thieves, Senpai? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to start an argument. I just can't help myself sometimes. <laughs> Let's change the subject to something a bit lighter. Alrighty. That's cool, dude. I'm sorry, I should probably get going. Aww. If I'm away from home too late, my parents will begin to worry. Hmm. Understandable. Right, then let's call it a day. Hmm. Good luck on your competition. Yeah. Yeah. You got this. Yes, thank you. <laughs> well then, see you later. Yep, see you later. Well, I think we won't be going into mementos this episode. I think we're just gonna chill out and relax, because I'm pretty sure exams are gonna be coming soon or whatever. So maybe not this episode, but the episode afterwards, I guess, will be uh, mementos or whatever. So now here's the hard part, is figuring out what to do, because we could either head over to Big Bang Burger, take the challenge and get a stat bonuses, or we can take Carolina Justine on that little, what do you call it, adventure thing or whatever, where they go around the city. Mm. I think I'm going to go take the Big Bang Burger challenge, and then the next night Let's do we it. will go to, uh, what do you call it? We'll head to Mementos, and then after, like, exams and stuff, we'll take them to wherever they need to go. Okay, so I think with our current status... Thank you we very should much. be able to take this challenge now. Now then. Yep. All right, here we go. Come on, Joker, you got this. This is a tough battle. I think you have the luxury of enjoying the taste, don't you? Just swallow. Yes. We somehow ate the whole thing. There we go. Y you've done it again. Congratulations. There we go. Congratulations on completing this challenge. Since you managed to crush the gravity burger, I present to you the first mate badge. 
Hey, there we go. Awesome. I knew you could do it. Nice. There we go. Got a point in guts. Nice. <laughs> and now the other parts. Two points in knowledge. Two points in charm. Two points in proficiency. Want to head back? There we go. Ah, oh, Maruki. It's open. Come in. Ah, oh, she's going to talk Welcome. with Makoto now. I just realized she was going to talk with Makoto. <laughs> I meant to say he was going to talk with Mar... <sighs> I got mixed up. Whatever. Oh, you're the student council president, Nijima-san, correct? Excuse me. Sorry for coming by so suddenly. It was nothing. Oh, no. Everyone's permitted to stop by whenever they like. I know the phrase counseling session can make some people nervous, but don't be. Considering you're the student council president, I'd rather they didn't force you to come here at all, actually. No. Well, I was advised to come, but I still chose to do it on my own. Good. Oh, good. Glad to hear that. But please, there's no need to be concerned about my being here. Feel free to discuss anything with me. Uh, uh yes. Alright, so I shall. <laughs> You're sounding more like the counselor in here than I am. I what they'll talk I about. see. Excellent grades, exemplary conduct. Wow, you appear to be the ideal honor student. No. Oh, that, not at all, in fact. Quite the opposite. I'm actually a bit of a mess. And I always have to turn to others for help. Well, you sure had me fooled. Even still, getting help isn't a bad thing at all. In fact, it's wonderful that you have a support system. Indeed. Especially lately, I feel I can't do anything right by myself nowadays. Aw, Makoto. Hmm. Did something go wrong for you? Yes. Yes, but it's nothing major. I've come to understand all too well that it's a bad idea to take on more of a burden than one should. Hmm. You really do seem like someone with a mature sense of responsibility. However, that may be why people around you, especially the adults who should be protecting you, rely on you so much. <sighs> adults, you should be protecting me. Had I been clever enough to understand that earlier, things may have gone a bit differently for me. You think so? Mm, yeah, with like... I guess with um, Kobayakawa and everything else. <sighs> uh, you live alone with your older sister, I see. Pardon my saying so, but it seems you've been through quite a lot. But... Honestly, it only felt like the norm to me, but our lack of adult guardians has to have been hard on my sister even now as well. And I've been lying if I said it wasn't hard for me too. Yeah, that's rough. It's just her and her sister. Do you still remember them? Your parents? Yes. Hey, so... Not as much about my mother, admittedly, but my father, without a doubt. In fact, now that I think about it, it may well have grown to be a bit uptight because of that. I see. Is that so? You are doing okay now? Is your support system adequate? Well... Wow. It's not as if I have a team of employees or anything, but I do have people that I'm able to rely upon well. Of course, I never think of them as replacements for my father or my sister. No one can replace either of them. What I've lost won't ever come back. I just need to keep my chin up and push towards my future. Quite. I like the way you put it, yeah. It's a healthy way of thinking. towards our future. Should anything come up that you want to help with, I'll be sure to support you. Through my skills are pretty limited. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the kind words. Hmm. I wonder if he's gonna have a talk hey. with everybody. Alright. So, for sure, the next episode will be going to Mementos. I just think it's funny how today I forgot about the team study session or whatever, and then out of nowhere, surprise curveball of us hanging out with Akechi and Kasumi. So that was a nice little surprise. So yes, next episode, we will be going to Mementos and clearing out all those requests. So I hope you all are ready for that. 
Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching this random, surprising episode. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and comment down below if you enjoyed. And if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way, whenever I upload a video, you guys will be the first to know. Thank y'all so much for watching this episode, and I cannot wait to see y'all in the next one. Peace.